Welcome back to module 11.5. In this lecture video, I'm going to show you how we can use system of linear equation to solve what's so-called mixture problems. Okay, so before I do any example, I would like to explain a uh, mixture problem um, from a different perspective or different angle. So, sweet tea, you know, here I I love sweet tea. Sweet tea consists of tea and sugar. So the T part, let's say sugar. Let's say T, how much T I have. Let's call that liter, liter or liquid. Okay, liter or liquid. Liter. Can't say the word right. All right, how many liter or how many gallons? Sugar. Let's do sugar as percentage. So if a cup of tea has a lot of tea in it, a many, many liter or gallons, and very, very low percentage of sugar, that means the tea does not taste very good, okay? So if I take how much liquid or liter I have in my cup times the percent of sugar, that will tell me how sweet it tastes. Okay. So let's pretend, okay, this first cup don't have a lot of sugar in it. I'm going to mix with another cup that has so much lit, uh, liter or gallon of tea in it but with a very high percentage of sugar. Okay, so I'm going to take these two cups and pour them into this third cup. And that's how I'm mixing them. I'm going to pour them into these, this third cup. So this third cup is going to have how much tea in it? Well, that will all come from the first plus the second one. But what is the percentage of sugar in here? This percentage of sugar got to be anywhere between this percentage of low sugar and this percent of high sugar. So this third cup is the one that's going to taste just right. All right. So that's how we're going to mix. We're going to, if we can draw our three cups here, we can actually mix, thing, mix these first two together, pour them into the third one. So it does not matter what I'm mixing here. So, for example, how many liter, liter each of a 15% acid solution and a 65% acid solution must be used to produce, okay? So, let's draw my cup. Question is asking how many liter, liter, ugh, how many liters? So, in my first cup, I have X number of liter of acid or T of 15% sugar, okay, and the other cup has 65% sugar, way sweet, so the second cup has Y liter, okay, maybe, you know, my, my, my way of saying liter sounds like I'm throwing stuff away or something, liter. Y liter of 65%. So I'm taking what's in the first cup and the second cup, pour them into this third cup. So the word to produce or to make, to mix with, is my equal sign. Okay, that's how I read this. So after the word to produce tells me what's in my third cup. So in my third cup, the final cup I'm going to drink, it has 70 liter of T of 30% of sugar. Makes sense, right? Not very sweet, mixed mix with very sweet. Then the final cut got to be somewhere in between 15 to 65, okay? So how many liter are in each the first two cup? So here we go. Got two variable, you need two equation. The first equation got to be how much T, how many liter of acids that we have? 
which is going to be x plus y. x in the first cup plus y in the second cup equal to 70 liter altogether. Okay. The second equation got to be how sweet it tastes. Take the liter times the percentage. How good it tastes. Okay. Or oh, how sweet it is. So that would be taking the x liter times 0.15 plus y liter times 0.65 equal to 70 times 0.3, There you go. If you draw the cup, you got yourself two equations. Second one is up and down, which is 0.15 times x plus how, does, how good does the second cup taste? Take how many liter of tea I have times how much sugar it is which is 0.65 y equal to the third cup is 70 liter of tea or acid in this in this example times 30 percent which is 0.3 all right now we can use um, substitution method to help us okay so <clears throat> I'm going to solve for x in this problem. I haven't solved for x for a while. All right, move, uh, if I want to get x by itself, let's move the y over. So that x is equal to 70 times minus y. First equation prime. All right, let's substitute 70 minus y into the f second equation, wherever I see an x. So that's 0.15 times x now it's going to be replaced with 70 minus y plus 0.65 y equal to go ahead and figure out this 70 times 0 0.3 21 okay all right so let's do a my first term i need to do a distribution so let's take a look 0.15 times 70 10.5, right? All right, point one five times negative y, negative point one five y plus point six five y equal to twenty one. Combine like term, that's going to be positive point five y. Point six five minus point one five, I believe is point five zero or point five y equals. Move the ten forty to the other side, become negative. That would be 21 minus 10.5, which is 10.5 again. Divide both sides by 0.5. My answer, 21. Did I do it right? Yep. Okay, so my second cup, the 65% acid it has 21 liter in it all right if the two cup together is 70 that means the first cup got to be 70 minus 21 which is 49 so the 15 percent acid or 15 percent sugar is 49 liter okay Kind of makes sense, though. Kind of makes sense. Um, 30, 30 is actually closer. This third cup percentage is actually closer to 15 because the first cup has a lot more uh, liter of that acid. In it. Okay, that's why it's leaning towards the, That's why they make the 49 bigger than the 65% one. All right, that's how we do mixture problems. We can basically use um, that same concept for a lot of these mixture problems. So let's try another one, okay? So I'm just going to keep on using my T example. So here I got 200, a dairy needs 280 gallons of milk containing 7% butterfat. How many gallons of each milk containing 8% butterfat, butterfat and, and milk containing 4%? must be used oh, okay 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 okay. i see they word it slightly differently must be used to see that word to obtain 
the word obtain is referring to the equal sign. So what's after the word obtain, that will be in the third cup. I'm trying to make the 280 gallons. So that means the third cup is the one that is 280 gallons of how many percent? Containing what? 7% of sweetness. So the question is asking how many gallons of each of the 8 and the 4 must be mixed. Okay, so the 8% in the first one, second cup has 4% sweetness or butterfat. So let's call this X gallon of 8%. The other one is Y gallon of 4%. All right, so once you can draw the cup, got yourself two equation again. So the first one is how much gallon or how much T total, which is X gallon plus Y gallon equal to 280. The second one is how good does it taste in each cup? So that will be X times 0.8 plus Y times 4% 0 0.04 equal to 280 times 0 0.07, 7%. Let me write it out. 0 .0. 0 .0. Equal to 280 times 0 0.07, okay? So, another substitution method. Let me move this down real quick, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to solve for y this time. In the first equation. Alright, so move the x over. That's y equals 280 minus x. First equation prime. This is the one I'm going to come back to find the y. Substitute 280 minus x into the second equation wherever I see a y. So let's quickly solve this times parenthesis 280 minus x 280 times 0 0.07 let's go ahead and figure that out that's 19.6 all right 0 0.04 times 280 well I do a distribution that should be 11.2 all right 0 0.08x still in the front. 0 0.04 times 280 is that. 0 0.04 times negative x, negative 0 0.04x. Is that equal to 19.6? 0 0.08 minus 0 0.04 is 0 0.04x equals. Move the 11.2 to the other side. 19.6 minus 11.2. 8.4. Divide both sides by 0 0.04. So that'd be 210. So that means the first cup has 210 gallon. All right. The other one got to be 280 minus 210, which is 70. Okay, that's the answer for both. All right. Now, this one. Tell you what. I'm going to swap these two. I'm going to move the grocery store down and move the middle one up. All right. The middle one just like the other ones because the aluminum and the, the aluminum, the alloy problem has percentage in it. So... So we're trying to has one alloy containing 56% aluminum and another containing 67% aluminum. How many pounds of each alloy must he use to make a 59 pounds? Okay, of a third alloy that containing 58% aluminum. So I'm trying to make, to make is the equal sign. I'm trying to make a third alloy here that's containing 59 pounds of 58%. So for the T, using T for example, 59 gallon T of 58% sweetness. So 
how many pound of each one I used on the other side. One is 56% aluminum, the other one is 67% aluminum. So it'll be X pound of 56%, Y pounds of 67%. So let me write the equation out and you can probably solve it. So the first one is see how many pounds altogether or how much tea, sweet tea altogether. The second one is how good it tastes. Okay, let's go up and down. So if you solve it the same way as the previous two I just showed you, you'll be all right. 0.56 times X, how good it tastes, times how much T times how much sugar in it. So that will be 0 0.67 times Y equal to 59 times 0 0.58. Okay, and I'm sure you can take, take it from here. All right, I'm sure you can solve it on your lecture handout. Now, these two problems are very similar, okay? Got to be very careful. A, gorse, a grocer want to mix two kinds of coffee. One kind sell for $2.15 per pound, and the other sell for $2.42 per pound. He want to mix a total of 18 pounds and sell it for $2.30 per pound, okay? So all these money part is per pound and all these per pound money is like my percentage so we're trying to mix a total of 18 pounds so that's the equal sign on the right hand side we're trying to make an 18 pound of this is two dollar thirty cents per pound So, how much, how many pounds is for the $2.15 per pound? Well, that's X pound, right? Of, plus another cup, that would be Y pounds of $2.45 per pound. Okay, so treat the per pound, how much money per pound at the percentage? So the first equation got to be about how many pounds or how much T we have, okay? So that'll be X plus Y equal to 18. All right, <clears throat> up and down got to be the second equation. So that'll be $2.15 a pound times X number of pounds, right? Plus, $2.45 a pound times Y number of pounds. So this is money plus money equal to, all right, I'm selling this new type of coffee or new type of tea, 18 pounds total times $2.30 for every pound, okay? So, so we can solve this problem just like the previous one using substitution methods. All right, again, I'm gonna leave that up to you, okay, to finish solving it. Now, this one is tricky. Lydia decided to mix grave of gasoline in her truck. She put 13 gallon regular and six gallon of premium for total cost. This is the, this is the tricky part. The total cost is $71.43. If the premium gasoline cost 22 cents more per gallon than the regular, what was the price of each grade of gasoline? So this time, okay, this time I am having 13 gallon regular. So this is regular plus 6 gallon of premium. Okay, but I know I have 19 gallon, <clears throat> but the money part right here is actually not per gallon. This $71 is the total amount of money. Just like up here, 
when you take this 18 times the 2.3, that gives you a total amount of money for selling the 18 pounds. So just like the $71.40, so the total amount of money here is 71.43. Okay, I don't need to know 19 pounds because I already know I got 19 pounds. All right. So what I need is about the money part. Right, she put 13 gallon of regular and 6 gallon in the premium for a total of that. We have a premium gallon, so premium gallon cost 22 cents more than regular. So, reg so if I use one variable here, which is a lot easier, premium is 22 more than the regular. So regular is this at the end, we we'll let regular one to be X dollars. So what this X dollars is per gallon because the 22 cents more is per gallon. So premium is 0.22 cents more than who? More than the regular. So this is also per gallon. All right. So how do I write out my equation this time only using one variable? Well, if I'm using one variable, all I need is the up and down part. Except the third cut. The third cut is referred to the total cost. So basically, the total cost is going to be $71.43. Right? So this $71 come from the money we spent for the regular. X number x amount of dollar for one gallon I'm buying 13 of those so that'll be 13 times x plus premium is 22 cents more than the regular per gallon and I'm buying six gallon those so that'll be six times that much gas together total cost is 71 dollars so this problem I'm just going to use one variable because if I want to use two different variables, all right, I will just say the six gallon will be Y. Six gallons of price per gallon is going to be Y. Then I will just translate this same equation. But again, I will still end up with the same equation anyway when I'm solving it. So that's why using one variable in this particular example is probably easier. All right, six times 0.22. So that's... Ah, six times 0 0.22. 1.32. All right. Positive six times that is one positive 1.32. Positive six times six is positive six x. 13 times x is 13 x still. Equal to 71.43. Move the positive 1.32 to the other side. 13 x plus six x is 19 x equals. 71.43 minus the dollars 32 cents come over so that'll be 70.11 divide both sides by 19 my answer 3.69 so that means the 13 the regular Turn out to be three dollars sixty nine cents per pound per gallon. Premium is just twenty two cents more. So if I just plus point two two, premium is three dollars ninety one cents per gallon. There you go. That's the answer. Alrighty. So in this lecture video, we talk about how we can use system of linear equation to solve um, our mixture problem using sweet tea as for an example. All right, that will conclude this lecture video. Thank you for watching.